Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is a little bit of a rant video about a couple of things that are annoying users in Windows 11 and that are annoying me for another reason uh, and it's the fact that some features and some things seem to bypass testing in the Insider program. So there is an Insider program, it's still there, it's still meant to test different things about the operating system and add new features and for that it does to a certain point do that. The biggest problem with the uh, Windows Insider program uh, is that not everything seems to be going through it. And the fact that not everything seems to be going through it is not normal. Um, there are features that seem to be popping up on Windows 11 here and there that have not been going through any of the different rings and that just show up. Uh, there's a new OneDrive app that has been showing up on Windows um, 11 22H2 for users, which as we have never seen on any other platform on the Insider program. There are a few things like that that I find that is kind of not normal because technically the insider program is there to make sure that you know everything is all right before you push it to everyone so this is one of the annoyance that kind of makes me want to rant a little bit the other rant i have is still the um you know reasons why are why are some of us having things and features that the others don't Every time I show that the right click on the taskbar, I've got task manager, I got tons of people saying, well, I don't have it. And um, I still have some people saying that I go to my file explorer and uh, I don't have tabs. Yet, the, uh, if I ask or the, you know, if they tell me they're at the latest version, they, they've updated everything. And so um, that also is an annoyance. Why is it that if you are going to push a feature like a moment, as you want to call them, not everybody has every, everything and not everybody has the same thing. This is unacceptable at a certain level also because I see a lot of you commenting that you're kind of a little mad or annoyed at Microsoft because you don't have the features that I show you or you don't have features that are supposed to be there and basically um, I, I totally understand your frustration I totally understand that why is it I don't have this feature especially if it's a feature that you want to have you know file explorer tabs was one of them it was very popular and it was up there and what a lot of um, you know, enthusiasts and a lot of users wanted. I totally, totally agree that there's something wrong in the way that Microsoft is releasing things. I mean, it's either you release it for everybody or just don't. Uh, but don't release it to half of the people and not on the other half. It's almost, once again, uh, it, it, I told you that some of the features and some of the new things have bypassed the Insider program. Well, it's almost if you're using the regular... Um, you know, mainstream windows to test who likes and doesn't like features or who wants and doesn't want features or, it, you know, kind of guinea pigs, basically. So, um, I don't know. Microsoft needs to really make things very clear. And if you say that Moment 2 is going to arrive with this, well, we better have this and we better ha all have this, not just half of this. And, and don't spread it. I mean, moment one for me is a little bit of a disaster because you push moment one, oh, look at that, all of that. Well, everybody goes into Windows, everybody goes into their settings and everything, and the first thing they notice is, I don't have any of those things, or I have only half of them. So, um, I don't know. This is bizarre, and it's something that I just can't uh, uh, comprehend why Microsoft is acting this way. So that was my rant for Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.